Here we are back to my second account because I need to show you things that I cannot show you on my main account. The goal today is to show you how I created this, uh, let's call it automation aggregator to show me today's tasks, tomorrow tasks, and upcoming tasks using the tasks plugin. I have this set on my home page. If you don't know how to do that, there is another video here that can help you. Now, the tasks plugin is like <laughs> out of this world. It's way, way beyond my pay grade. There's so much that you can do. And what I understand and what I use are only the basics. When I need something else to build this, I come to this page here and spend a few hours trying to learn. So this is one thing that you can do. There's a lot of information here, all the details about the plugin. Another thing is if you don't want to spend time there, just copy what, I, what I'll be showing here today. And if you are a tasks plugin master, please help the community answering questions below. Okay, let's do this. Of course, the first thing we need here are some tasks. So let's create them here. If we go to client B here, uh, let's do this. Uh, learn about tasks. Learn about tasks, okay? Um, and here, let's add a due date for, I don't know, tomorrow, okay? Uh, I don't know, call, call client and another due date, this time Monday. Let's go to client B, uh, learn uh, the due date for this one is going to be Tuesday. Okay, whoops, we don't need this. Now, if you watch the other video where I explained the, the home page, uh, I talked about a client that asked me to help him create the same structure he had in Evernote created here in Obsidian. And to do that, we need a page for all the tasks that don't have a context. For example, this one here is about client A. Well, let's say you just want to take note of buy milk or something like that. For that, I created a note. This note is random tasks. And we can remove this uh, properties here. We don't need them. And now let's add a task here. Buy milk, milk. And I'm copying this. I'm trying this for some tasks, especially uh, grocery lists. I'm using this note for grocery list. And it's inside the action containers folder because tasks are actions we are doing its work in progress okay if you don't know what i'm talking about please go watch the other videos about the timeline system what i'm going to create now is an aggregator this code that i'm going to paste here will uh, filter and display tasks that match this combination that are all over obsidian so i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to explain it to you you have to start with this and end with this and everything in between is a rule that will filter the tasks okay so first thing and, and everything all this is explained on that uh, website that i showed you and you'll find the link in the description below so the first thing i want is tasks that are not done okay uh, unchecked boxes. Then I'm looking for tasks that are due after tomorrow and that are due before in two weeks. I want this interval, okay? Then I wanted to sort by due, due date here. And all these other ones here are just hiding information because I don't want to see all that information, all the icons, all it's too much, too many icons, too much information, okay? So I want to hide the edit button, I want to hide the recurrence rule button, and I want to hide, uh, hide the postpone button. And I want to limit this to 12 tasks. I don't want this list to be 
giant. This is just to give me an idea of what's coming up next. And here we have our two tasks because there are only two tasks that match that combination. Now, what I like about task systems that work like this, Evernote works like this, the Supernote works like this, is that it we can see where this task was created. In this case, this one was created inside the node client B and this one inside the node client A. And of course, if I click here, I can go to that node. Meaning that there's no need to a lot of explanation. If I look at this, I understand that that task, task is related to that node, in this case, to that client. Okay, let's go back and paste the other code. So this one, again, not done, but I have a different interval here, do after today and do before two days. So this is tomorrow. And everything else is the same. Sort by do, uh, hide all this and limit it to 12 tasks. I guess you already know what today is, right? So do today and do before tomorrow. So this will limit the tasks for today. Okay, I can hear you there. <laughs> what about the ones without a due date? In my case, I don't have tasks without a due date. Uh, everything that, that doesn't have a due date is something that I have to purchase. And I'll show you right now how I do that. And you can maybe use that for your tasks without a due date. Remember that we created here a uh, buy milk. This one doesn't have a due date, but let's say uh, I have to, I don't know, and I added a due date. I don't know, here. So as you can see, the call mom task has here random, it, it is inside the random tasks uh, node. But where is buy milk? I need that because when I open Obsidian, it, it always opens on this page. So here's how we how I fixed that. We are creating here another item purchases. And to make things better, it's not just an item because this is a type of task that I'll be constantly adding to, I'll, I'll, I'll be always adding new tasks to this one. So what we can do here is do this. It was, this was kind of lazy, right? <laughs> but it's a possibility. Okay, so now if I click here, I can go to that uh, node and add a new task. Okay, so let's do that. So let's now add the filter. I'm going to paste it here. So again, tasks, this is a tasks filter, not done, no due date, path includes action container. I want this tasks coming from this node here. Okay, hide edit button and hide backlink. And there's no limit here because if it's a grocery, if it's something that I have to purchase, I have to see all the items. What I did here was use the rules, combine it with the note where the task is. So this one here will not show me tasks with due date. I won't see this one here, but I'll see this and this. So let's go back here. See, <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> It's kind of using logic to create a system that will uh, work for me. And that's, I, I think that's the beauty of creating something like this. Y you should try to make the system uh, deliver the type of information you're looking for. Hi, this is future me here. I was editing a video and something was missing here. <laughs> so I went back to my main account and yeah, there's, one item, of course, missing to overdue tasks. So let's add that here. For the overdue tasks, I use the, that red emoji. I think that makes them more visible, overdue. And here's the code. We still have not done, but now we have due before 
today? Well, it looks like forgetting it ended up being a good thing because this task was created yesterday. It was due yesterday and today it it, it is now overdue. And by the way, if you are a paid Patreon member, you've, you'll be able to copy and paste all these codes. It's going to be inside the video note, which is something that I, I'm also trying on Patreon. All the videos I'm publishing here on YouTube, they have ad-free versions on Patreon, okay? So, from now on, what you'll see will not include the overdue because that was recorded yesterday. Let's do something here. Let's go to this one here and I mean this one here and let's change this for today. If we go here, oh, there's something wrong. Uh, there is a, a hide here that I'm not using anymore. See hide backlink. If you if if we live here, there is no backlink to the and I, and I need that backlink. So let's remove this and we'll see the backlinks. Okay, so now the, in, let's go back to that situation. I'm working on this. I have this to do today and the tomorrow I have that other task. But let's say I want to, for some reason, I want to, I need or want to do this tomorrow and this one today. I can go, I can click here, for example, and move this to tomorrow and click here and move this to today. Now I don't even remember which one was what, <laughs> but you, you get the idea. <laughs> and, I, and I can do this for all, let's say this one here, I want to add, I, I can, I want to move it to tomorrow. And this is why I created this three levels, because I can either be inside uh, a client. For example, if I'm talking to a client, I can change the task here, or I can do it here like I just showed you. And of course, because I have all of them uh, set to show me only not done tasks, if I check a task as done, it disappears from here, but it is still there. And again, I don't mind. I don't care about the mass that will happen here. I don't care about that, that mass because this is the, the organized part that is filtering information from there. You can create, uh, you can, you can, I, I mean, you can move this task to another node. You can create all sorts of sophistications and every month move the tasks. It, it, it's up to you. To be honest, you can do whatever you want. If you go to that website, there's so much that you can create with this plugin. But in my opinion, the more we try to create all these rules, all this structure, the less will work and we are more prone to, to create a mass. Everything's going to be a detail to break this because, for example, this one here is already, ha already has a path. It only gets tasks from this node here. Now imagine creating all this situation, different nodes, different folders. I don't know. I don't like that. <laughs> but if that's your cup of tea, go for it. This plugin is super. <laughs> it has everything to do whatever you want, I believe. Anyway, that's it for this one. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to help even more, please consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. You can also buy me a coffee. All the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.